Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to flash your ExpressLRS 2.4 gigahertz receiver and transmitter with a bind phrase so you can easily pair them up. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV and you're going to acquire some knowledge today. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Today we're gonna to flash this ExpressLRS EP2 from Happy Model. It's the 2.4 gig version. One thing about ExpressLRS, as long as you stick to either 2.4 gigahertz or the 900 megahertz versions, you can combine any uh, manufacturer of the receivers or transmitters. So for today, we're gonna to use this EP2, as well as this 2.4 gigahertz transmitter module from Happy Model as well. It's a pretty simple process. You just have to flash them both through the configurator. You can choose a bind phrase, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's take a look. All right, first we're gonna flash the transmitter module. Go ahead and open up the ExpressLRS configurator. As you see, I'm running 1.1. We're going to select Happy Model 2.4 gigahertz from the drop down. In this case, it's going to be the ES24TX, 2400TX. That's the JRBA size module. I've already got my bind phrase set up. You can set yours to whatever you'd like. And I went ahead and enabled the feature sync there for the fastest mode there. Run this at 500 hertz. I like to use the hybrid switches, enable telemetry. And uh, you don't have to set a Wi-Fi interval. This will just um, allow you to flash the transmitter module there after so many seconds. But that's not really significant. You don't really have to choose a UART because we're just going to flash this via Wi-Fi. So you can just go ahead and build this. In this case, we're going to upload it via Wi-Fi here in a second. You'll see what I'm talking about. You want to keep this finder window open because we're going to need access to that bin file to flash here in a second. All right, so you're going to pull up the tools menu. Run the Express LRS script. All right, and if you scroll down, you can see in the bottom right, you have an option for a Wi-Fi update. You're gonna go ahead and select that, and that's gonna allow you to update your module to uh, via Wi-Fi to the latest version. All right, now you just have to go to the web browser at the 10.0.0.1 address, and we're gonna to connect to our wireless Express LRS network. I've already connected this network previously, so I have to enter the passcode, but you'll want to enter the passcode in. It's going to be ExpressLRS, all lowercase. All right, once you've got connected, uh, your browser may automatically open up the web page. Otherwise, you're going to go to 10.0.0.1. It's going to pull up this page. And you're just going to grab your firmware file and drag it over to the choose file slot or you can manually select it. Hit the update button. It's going to flash. It may or may not tell you that it updated successfully. And then uh, it's going to upload the firmware file that you selected. All right, next we're going to flash the receiver. Open up configurator. It's also going to be the Happy Model 2.4 gigahertz receiver in this case. This is going to be the EP2, so we'll select the EP firmware. We're going to flash this via Wi-Fi. So we'll just set the build aside there like we did uh, previously with the transmitter module. You just hit the build button there. All right, looks like it's been built successfully. We'll leave that finder window open so we can 
flash the receiver next. All right, you're gonna connect your LiPo. You can see the receiver there, slow flashing. You're just gonna give it 20 seconds and you should get a rapid flash. That means it's in Wi-Fi connect mode. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to flash the receiver. We're gonna to connect to the ExpressLRS network. Password's gonna be the same, ExpressLRS all lowercase, no spaces. Wait for the web page to load. Same thing, you're gonna scroll down, drag your file over, and then hit update. Unplug your battery, replug it in, and when your drone starts up, you should be connected. So hopefully I showed you how simple this process is. Uh, it eliminates the need for a bind button. Bind phrase makes this much easier. You can flash the same bind phrase to multiple receivers and transmitters and uh, enable multi-bind. That concludes today's video, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to have this 4-inch micro apex from Impulse RC on the channel. I'll have a full review shortly.